Hi, I'm Bai Xu. I'm completely brainwashed by beautiful images on social media, coffee table books, and magazines. However, it can be difficult for me to maintain a clutter-free home like the ones I see in these images. But I have found six simple products that are super helpful with visual clutter, and I hope they can do the same for you. I love money, but I hate coins. It's likely that you accumulate coins in your pockets and then spread it all around your home in places such as on the sofa. In your bed, between your hair, in your food. But don't worry, there's a simple solution. Get a beautiful designated bowl or container to keep all of your change in one place. It's a small change, pun intended, that can make a big difference in keeping your home clutter-free. If you're like most people, you probably have a habit of tossing your stuff wherever it's convenient, and that's where over-the-door hooks come in super handy. These simple hooks are designed to hang over your door, so you can easily store your items when you're not using them. I personally like to use the one with the unpronounceable name from IKEA. They are minimal in design, so they won't stand out or look cluttered themselves. And plus, they're really, really sturdy and super cheap. Storage baskets are like a miracle cure for clutter. They're perfect for those bulky items that are just too big to hang on hooks. For example, we have a couple of work bags that are way too large for our hooks, so we've grouped them into storage baskets instead. It's much better than having them take up all the space in the corner of the room. But storage baskets aren't just for storing bags, like an excessive number of cushions that you bought on sale, rolls of holiday wrapping paper, or even a cat that just sheds too much hair. Just kidding. I don't put my pets in baskets. Live in the 21st century. Do you use electricity? Then, like me, cords and cables are probably taking over every corner of your home. I found using a cable organizer super helpful. You can get cable organizers in all different sizes, colors, and shapes. So, for example, I have a black and brown one for the rooms with a darker, moodier interior, and I have a yellow and white one for rooms with a light colored floor. You just push down the cables and extension cords deep into the box, like how you would push down your sense of inadequacy after someone asks how you are doing in life. Uh, anyone? Anyone? Just me? Okay. Everyone has stuff. Too much stuff. It's easy for our belongings to take over our tables, shelves, floors. So if you notice that certain items tend to accumulate in the same locations, consider getting a storage box to keep them organized. For example, at the console table near the entrance, we put all of our face masks and sunglasses in the storage box to hide the clutter. In our TV low board. We keep our Xbox controllers in a box because the colors and shape don't quite match the overall aesthetic of our apartment. So instead of letting the controllers take over our space, we took control of the controllers. <laughs> By using the storage boxes, we can help to keep our items organized in one place, and in turn, our spaces look a lot tidier. Yeah, so give it a try. Another option for organizing all the stuff in your home is by using trays. These are especially helpful for items that you want to keep visible or easily accessible. Trays work so 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 well because when you group items onto a flat surface, you visually transform a bunch of little individual items into one big item, so everything just looks immediately way less busy. It's a simple trick, but it can make a really big difference in decluttering your surfaces. You don't even need to use a tray. You can also use books, chopping boards, tiles, pieces of nice marble or wood, anything that you can kind of put things onto. In my home, I use trays on my coffee table, dining table, console table, and even in the bathroom. So there you have it. Six items that I absolutely love that can help you declutter your home. So what I've realized is that all of these beautiful and inspirational images that you see on interior blogs, magazines, they are just that inspiration and nothing else. All the stuff you see in those images are highly curated, professionally styled, and very often photoshopped and color corrected. It's not real life, and we shouldn't compare our homes to these images. It's more important to just. Focus on creating a home that makes you happy and works for you. 
So yeah, if you try out any of the items that I mentioned above, do let me know in the comments how you feel about them. They've definitely helped me keep things in order and I hope they do the same thing for you. Thank you and see you again very soon.